All right, my friends, so today we are going to be drawing a city or a skyline of a city where we are going to have this city that we can see where all of the buildings come up and touch the sky above it. So the first thing you need to do is get out your paper, get out your drawing supplies. I would start with a pencil first so that we can erase if we need to. And you want to make sure your paper is going horizontally or what in art we call landscape. So it's going side to side, not vertical, because it'll be better to fit our buildings in that way. First step that we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to the bottom of our paper and we are gonna draw three horizontal lines across the bottom of our paper. So we're gonna come up, I'm gonna do one, and remember horizontal is going all the way across. If you have a ruler at home, you could use this to help you. And then I'm gonna do two and three and this is going to kind of make our sidewalk and the road in front of our buildings next we're going to come and we're going to start filling in buildings now i'm going to draw mine a certain way but you guys are welcome to draw your own style of building you are welcome to change up the shapes, the details, but what I need everybody to make sure they're doing, and it says it on the screen, is making sure you are drawing buildings that go all the way from one side of your paper to the other side, and you are making at least two buildings overlap, meaning that one looks like it's in front of another building. So you need to make sure that that's going on in your picture. Now a good base to start with for this is a rectangle, but you can always go in and add some details like some of those building pictures we looked at before the video. You can always open some of those back up to add some really cool architectural elements to some of your buildings like this topper I put on my skyscraper here. So this one you see I'm coming up here and it's coming up out of the middle of this building before I'm gonna have it come up and over and come down so that it looks like this building is in front of this building because it's overlapping it or this one's making it look like it's going in front of it just a little bit and covering that part of the building. Doing the same thing there so i'm just going in and i'm filling i started in the middle and filling one side and then going in and filling the other remember guys you can add whatever shape buildings you want another thing you could do is come over kind of draw a building on one side and then build up some of the ones behind it to show once again that overlapping where some buildings look like they're behind or in front of and we want to make sure our buildings look different and they aren't all looking the exact same because that would just be boring if we looked at a city and every building looked the same so once you have a lot of buildings in your background I'm gonna draw another one sticking up way in the distance here some more once you have a lot of buildings added to your picture the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and start drawing all of our other architectural elements. So our things like windows, doors, all of that. So you guys go through, start doing that. I'm going to finish up mine, and that's where we're going to stop for today. We are not adding color to this. I'm going to repeat again, do not add color to this yet because we are going to color it in a very special way next week when we come in using our warm and cool colors. So today we're just looking on getting all of our buildings drawn as well as adding all of our window and door details and any of these toppers or anything else you might want to add to your building. So you guys go ahead, get going on this. You can look at my example pages if you need some ideas of details or how you might want to do this and another thing you could do today is you could go in if you wanted to and trace it out in black as well so that your details are really really standing out on your buildings so you guys go ahead have fun